Hello, hey, welcome guys. to the women's cake. Really? Yeah, I had to say it real quick. I was going to put it. some pizzazz in it, some brujado. It's going to be like, hello. <laughs> welcome to the women's cake. This was going to be real nice. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to say it. I had to say nothing wrong with you. <laughs> it's because this is like our unseeth interview of the day. That's your problem. <laughs> and a funny one. Okay. okay. I'm Jade, and as you can see, we're not in studio today. We're in the hotel room. We're Yay. in Orlando, Florida. We're in Orlando, Florida, Yay. soaking up some sun. And oh, nice. Oh, yes, I am Winona. I forgot to introduce myself. Wow. Good job, Jay. Good job. Hold well on. Did you just pat me on my head? Like, that's a thing? Like, well done. Well done. Good boy. Man, I can't even with you right now. That's why you should continue with the introduction. So we can oh, we are two of the 15, and I, th I don't even feel like doing an introduction. That she patted me on my head like I was a dog. <laughs> two of the 15, and I thought leave. And we wrote these books, and I thought the voice was bad with other life lessons. Yes, you guys, we're having lighting problems, and that's yes. just life. And I thought that being grown up was easy, and I thought I could juggle it all. And I thought I did my journey alone, and I thought I had it all figured out. A fiction episode one. I need to be more famous, Hollywood. Make this a television show. And we're joking. And I thought he was the one. See? Long promise and delivered in the workbook. In the workbook, in case you want to improve your self-esteem and or get over trauma. Okay, all of that is available on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, and AndWeThought.com. You guys, when you go to AndWeThought.com, take a minute, go to the leads page, go down to the bottom, and see the charities that we probably support. And also, you guys, while you're there, go to the store, buy some stuff. You have wonderful things like flies. Ooh, oh, dude, they're too far away. Otherwise, I'd show you the flies. Go, go. Get no, no, no go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't do the rest. Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> so we had to just be go, go. But you guys don't hear, hear about us ramble on. Uh -uh. You will not do it to oh, me again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. And we have the Inspirational Women in Literature, no, no, no. Journalism, and Media Conference coming up. You guys can find out about that on andwethought.com. And you can do, and it's March 17th, you can do virtual or in person in Sacramento, California, and Just Writing Life. And you can find that on amazon.com <laughs> and in California, channel 18. Yes, I took it from her, you guys, because she patted me on the head like a dog. Just wanted to say it. Had to do it. <laughs> wonderful guest. Thank you. Wonderful guest. Would you like to introduce, introduce yourself? yourself? <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Happy Good morning. holidays to you. Thank you Thank so you. much. <clears throat> Although I don't know when we're going to put this up, so maybe it'll still be holiday season. So hopefully it's still. <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. So my name is Venice Johnson, and I am the boldness coach. And I help women and women entrepreneurs to be bold, big, and bad, to amplify their brand, grow their careers, and impact the world. Wow. wow. The whole world. Cheap. She's amazing. I was about to be real ignorant right there, but I, I held it. Yes, and we're very proud of the narcissism of this point. <laughs> so, what made you come up with this brand and get started? You know, there was a, a life event that happened. Um, I went through a divorce. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you go through a major life event, you start to question things that are happening, things around you in your life, right? You're like, mm -hmm. is this it? Is this all? There's got to be something else. Am I living on purpose? You start looking at um, the happiness that you have in your life or lack of happiness. And you, you start to just question, question your whole purpose of being, right? So I was like, you know, I want to do more. And, and I want to have a greater impact on the world. But I know it starts with me. So what is it that I want in my life? that I want to give to other women. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I want women to be uh, bold. I want them to be like bold and bad and big, you know, like all of the, the, the big pow pow words. Mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> and then I said, but I don't want to do the, 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 the normal typical, um, we want to be like, you know, big and a badass and we want to be bold and, you know, and I'm like, no, I need something that really, kind of sticks and something mm -hmm. that really stops you in your tracks. And, and then I said, I want to be, you know, want to be able to carry that mantra and I want to stop my own self in my tracks. And so 
then I came up with bold, big, and bad. So having lunch with a colleague, we were just discussing, and it was like, well, Venice, what do you want to bring to the party? I want to bring boldness. I want to bring bigness. And I want to bring badness to a party. And then we said, okay, well, that's real cool and kind of catchy, but what does that really mean, right? Mm -hmm. And so by breaking it down, I came up with the following for the acronym. So BOLD stands for Branding Out Loud Daily. That has to do with living in your authenticity every day throughout the day. BIG stands for Building in Your Gifts. Because we are so talented as people, and we are so talented as, as, as women, and we are just very talented, you know, people of God. So there is so much that we can do that we need to dig deep and be really big and create the life that we want to have. In actuality, our gifts are going to outlive us. That mm -hmm. means we have that many gifts inside of us. And you ladies know this because you just listed off all the books that you just provided and there's more to do. And then BAD stands for branded and distinctive. So that has to do with your reputation preceding you. Your reputation should get you invitations to the right tables. <clears throat> it should get you invitations in the room. People should be seeing your name because of the impact, the positive impact that you're having in the world and the positive impact that you're doing um, with helping people to shift their lives. So that's how I came up with bold, big, and bad. And that's what it means. Wow. Because when I thought bold, I was like unapologetically you. Not, yes. like, not to the point where you're not feminine. Not to the point right. where you walk in and everybody goes, she's the boss. Because, you know, she's like, ah. No, yes. she's the boss, but she doesn't have to say it. It just right. flows. It's her right. When you walk, if you walk into a room and you recognize everyone is like, that's a nice lady right there, but they know not to cross you. Now that's big bad man. <laughs> right. And so that, that, that still is in alignment with boldness because you are, when you're in your authenticity, you're unapologetic. Exactly. And you are not asking for permission. So bold is the commanding energy, you know, that people see because you own who you are. So whatever that is about you that you bring to the party, then own that and really live in that space throughout your entire day. Most people, we, we, we crouch down, you know, who we are because we feel like it'll be a little too much for people. And mm -hmm. most of us try to conform to do what other people think we should do as opposed to owning that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, we were just talking to someone who was saying that uh, she, she's an image consultant and she was saying that one of the things is that she saw people were cookie cutter. Now, how does that and boldness, I know you have to have boldness, but you have to have some sort of temperance on it. How do you find the balance as a female and keep your femininity? Right. So there is some temperament on it. And the temperament is you don't push your authenticity on other people. Okay. You know, so I think that's really important. If you, when I walk into a room in my boldness, I never walk up to people and say, I'm bold. Right. <laughs> I allow my energy, I allow my confidence, I allow how I present myself, what I'm wearing. You know, most times this morning you're not seeing it, but I, my hair is red. So that is one of my signature colors. Mm -hmm. And so when people see my energy, and they feel my energy, and I introduce myself as beneath the boldness coach, they say, wow, that's what I get from you. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we own who we are because it also helps to uplift our self-esteem. And then people, they, they may not know what the word is that they would want to call you initially, but they would say, there's something about you. You seem really interesting. So, and you, and you guys are smiling because you've heard that before about yourselves, right? Yeah. Quite a few times. You're like, no, there's more to you. And you're like, is there? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad you think it's there. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's important to be that way so that you're not coming across as being this aggressive woman trying mm -hmm. to push who you are on people. You're just really stepping and owning who you are before you even get into the room. 
Exactly. Right. Yeah. And you know, one, one little sidebar I want to add to that, you also get to own your boldness, your boldness when you're behind doors. So, you know, and, and here's, here's how this shows up. Let's say that you want to do something for yourself and, and you are trying to hem and hawing about it. Then you get to have that conversation with yourself about, you know what? I'm worth this. I deserve to have this. Here is what I've done up until this point to be able to support that I deserve to have this, or this is where I see myself going in the future. Therefore, I'm going to stand and own this space right now. And so when I step out into the world, I don't have to figure out who I need to be in order to command, you know, that energy to me to help me to reach those goals or to make that vision come true. So own your boldness, not just in front of people, but also own your boldness when you are in front of yourself. Question. Now, you say the words big, you say the word bad, you say the word bold, and you think God. Immediately. So mm-hmm. when that comes, when you come up against a guy that's got like eh, similar attributes, mm-hmm. how does that work out? How do you get, how are you able to collaborate with that? Because you know you're gonna come up to a man who's gonna be big, bad, and bold. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's so funny? I actually, when I come up to guys and I say to them, the boldness coach, they would just kind of step back and say, hmm. And they say, mm-hmm. okay, I can see a little of that. And so when I start really, again, living in my authenticity and being myself, I get a lot of compliments from guys that say, wow, it's really refreshing to see a woman who really knows who she is and owns who she is but not pushing it on me to say, you better accept me as bold. Exactly. exactly. So it's, so I do get that, that, that compliment, you know, from that. And I've never met a guy, man, even in the corporate space, I have, I have corporate clients that I coach that are men, you know, and they really like that assertiveness and what they really like about the coaching arrangement that we have is that they know that I'm not going to lift them off the carpet, that I'm going to call them to carpet. I'm going to call them to task. So I think it's a, it's a nice balance, you know, not being overly aggressive, but knowing when to be assertive in the right environment and knowing when to pull back and then allow people to come into your space. And I think sometimes Mm -hmm. as women, when we do know who we are and we're confident about it, sometimes it can be off-putting if we're not balancing the temperament. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. And that could be for other women, too. That could work against, you know, if you're talking to other women, it could be a little too much. So you got to just know when to balance your temperament. doesn't mean you turn it off, and it doesn't mean you, you don't live and step in your authenticity. You just got to know when to temper that. You respect other people's ability to be bold. Yeah. Absolutely. And I always tell my clients, to go around in the room. It's enough. I always tell my clients, let's find your level of bold. Not yeah. my level. Let's find your level of bold. Exactly. Jay, you've been quiet. Oh, I was going to ask a question. So here it is. So while you are being old, bad, and big, wait, I, bold, I, I, bold, yeah, yeah, bad. I'm sorry. I, I, I recognize as soon as I was like, no. I did it wrong. I'm very sorry about that. No, it's okay. <laughs> How does that transfer into people's brands? Because as you said, people should already know you. So how does that transfer into a brand? Like, let's just take us. Okay, well, we, let's just take authors. Okay, like not us, but just authors in general. You know, we tend to be a little more on the quiet side and stuff. So is that, how can we use some of your techniques? You know, I'm going to ask you to repeat that, Jade, because the connection. So as authors, sometimes Uh you to be more introverted than extroverted. But as to sell sell books, you have to talk with people. So how, maybe when are your top two things that you would share with an author to expand their brand? So two things I would say, um, and I also want to mention, I'm a certified brand strategist. So that's where the branding component comes in. And what I would recommend, two things, top two things for an author is, look like the characters that you represent, you know, in your content. And what I mean is you don't need to be a character, but if you're, if you're giving information out that helps women to be confident, then you've got to look like you're confident. 
So whatever that level needs to look like for you, show up as looking like confident. Also, your words mean so much and how you communicate means a lot to validate you articulate you know uh, a point to them they're going to be listening to the words and phrases that you use they're going to be listening to the energy that you put behind your words and phrases so all of those will support you being an author does that make sense yeah. absolutely absolutely, absolutely. Sense. we've been talking to authors and show people who didn't want to be show people all morning so <laughs> that makes so much sense did you ladies hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. You made absolute sense, and I know that our audience is gonna take that away with it. Take something away from that. Wow, I am being horribly yeah, right now. I'm telling you, 16, 16 interviews is <laughs> like the limit. This is number seventeen, so yeah, it's a bit rough. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Like I give praise to any and all stars out there who spend all day at a press mm -hmm. yet. Doing one after another. I mean, at some point, you got to be like, if you ask me one more question, I will smack you. <laughs> I'm just saying, cut the cameras off. Ah! No more questions. No more questions. No more questions. That's, that's kind of, it's kind of like coaching. You know, when you're talking all day long to people and you you have to listen, listen intently to what's not being said, to what they're saying, but actually what they're not saying. Mm -hmm. yeah, it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy. Exactly. It does. It does. All right. So I'm going to take Jade's question. She, she told yes. everything from me this morning because some pat on the head. I don't understand what that was about. <laughs> Jade's number I'm not even having a conversation about that right is now. Where can we find you on the internet and in your coaching? And do you have books? Say it all. Plug away. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. It's a great question. People can find me at hannyjohnson.com. Oh, bless me. And then the sneeze, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So it's uh, vanisejohnson.com, or they can Google boldness coach, the boldness coach, um, and I'll come up on Google. And then in terms of books, I'm super excited to share with you ladies that it's official. I am a globally published author. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Death clap for you. Yes, death clap for you. All Thank of them. you. Um, and so the, I'm in a collaboration, um, an anthology with 20 other, 21 other women. And it is called I Bared My Chest. Oh. 21 unstoppable women get naked. Really now? Nice. Well, and and my, my chapter is uh, the journey, journey into boldness. So I talk about and I share um, about the early years of my life. Yes. But there's no new uh, pictures. Uh, so we, we, we should appreciate this or no? Yeah. Wait, say that again? You said, you said no nude pictures? You said that. Oh, there are no nude pictures. No. Oh, there's okay. No. We were just talking about. <laughs> we were going to be like TV mature, you guys. <laughs> TV mature. <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about women being authentic and being vulnerable and transparent, you know, in terms of just challenges and struggles that they faced in their life and how they learn that, you know, stripping naked with putting it, putting it out there and sharing it with the world, you know, can ha has helped them to move to the next level in their life. And also that it gives other people freedom. It's about giving women the freedom and also men to really just be who you are in your flaws, your faults or whatever someone may see, you know, as something that could be a hindrance. It really is your blessing. Wow. wow. Awesome. Yeah. Thank so much. You. We're looking forward to reading yeah, some of this we'll book. Some of that. So what I will tell you though, I do talk about sex and the other women talk about sex too. So okay. uh, um, so that is that is TV fourteen. That is the TV, TV fourteen. 14. <laughs> yeah, that is the <laughs> just saying. version. Yeah. <laughs> so it's women from all over the women from eight countries. So lots of lots of different socioeconomic backgrounds, professional disciplines. Um, from Brazil, you know, we got different religions that are in there. Muslim, um, a young young girl, she's twelve years, fourteen years old from Australia, and she's a Muslim. She's in the book also too, you know, talking about what makes her unstoppable. So I'm excited to share that. People can go to ibearedmychest.com. Um, to be able to learn more about the book and about the authors. And I'm also going to have that on my website as well. 
Nice. That is fantastic. And congratulations again, you guys. We're coming to the end of our show. And so remember to check out everything that your ladies are doing on andwethought.com. You can check out Just Writing Life. And you can check out our conference that we're having in March. So please, you guys, buy tickets. It's for a good cards. And with that, wisdom is all around you if you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love, you guys, to Alona. And look, both my nails are done this week. High five yeah. on that one. Yes. And Jade, bye-bye. <laughs>